tryna get these 540, gotta put in work Been rushing all day, man, I bet you on her These niggas see my head and they know the G-code If you wanna get these ways, then you go and be small, be small They call me country guy, man, I'm going to be small They call me country You too, what's good, man? It's your boy, Country Kane, coming at you guys again uh, And as you know I come at you when I feel the need is necessary in the waving community. Feel me? And today what we're going over is pomades. Um, I see there's a lot of people asking a lot of questions about pomades and oh I need something to hold my hair or whichever way and uh, basically what I want to do is do a breakdown of the pomades. Um, their uses and their what they were intended and how they were intended to be used because I think we as waivers were coming way dependent on different products for a whole when all in all actuality what we need is a brush and some type of compression and I say that because I'm gonna show you something uh, this might seem nasty to some but I'm gonna show you uh, our own little natural pomade that we have See this here? Watch this. You see that little, that stuff that secretes out of there? That is your natural hair sebum. That's your natural hair oil that is present throughout your body. What that does is it acts as a natural pomade if utilized right by you when you're brushing and everything else. So let's go over the pomades anyway. That's a gross note, right? Okay, we got different pomades. I'm just gonna go over each one. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this one, but I got this for the video. I tested the feel of it. I don't really, I don't really use them like that. You got different type pomades. Pomades come in all ways, shape, form, and fashion. It's a suavecito, maybe, um, which is a gel. You got one of my favorites, his Wolfing Pomade, which is all natural. And you got one of my other favorites. This is my backup jar, because I got another one open, Seasick, which is another all natural and a different texture. And so on, okay? Of course, you everybody's familiar with this. And, um, the other pomades but anyway man pomades come in like different forms you have a more of a, a grease based pomade you have pomades that are very heavy and waxy feeling you have pomades that are like a gel based pomade and I just want to go over the differences and the similarities in each all right first of all we'll go over the one that I'm sure everybody's familiar with which is gonna be this 360 style and as you see it's a creamy type whole pomade. This pomade is really great for getting where you started. However, it, it, it's, it's kind of different from the other ones in a particular way. So I'm gonna come back to this one, all right? Okay. The first one I'm gonna go over again is gonna be, it's a gel based, based pomade, which is Suavecito. Um, I don't use it again. I purchased this just so I can do the video with it. And as you can see, the consistency is more of a gel type base. And the original purpose for this pomade was for people who have more of the pompadour hairstyles or whatever that's holding it into place. Remember what I said, holding it into place. And as a finisher, um, then you have something like this pomade uh, maybe somebody's heard of this is my first time seeing it barbershop eight which is a pretty thick consistency um, seems like it's pretty heavy but this is gonna be like a more of a waxy pomade um, I guess it's gonna have a good old I don't use that and one of my other favorites is gonna be seasick which is definitely a waxy pomade but it's lighter however the hold on this will probably outdo the hold on any of the ones that I've shown so far. And of course, you have this one, which is another 
greasy base pomade and it's a little thicker than the first one that I showed you, which was the 360 style. And I, I will tell you what my thoughts and just my opinion on it or whatever based on the ingredients that I read. And finally, we have the Wolfen Pomade by Cold Label. Uh, this is more of a, um, it's not as greasy, but it's, it's more on the same level as the Seasick as far as the texture. All right, well, this is the main purpose of this video today was because I keep seeing a lot of people saying, what can I do for whole? And the first thing that comes to people's mind for whole would be pomade. But if you think about it, a pomade is made for whole, like, like they said, but it's made as a finishing product. I've done a video on this before earlier, but I guess didn't nobody look down, look down the, uh, scroll down the video for it. But most pomades are gonna be what they call a dressing, meaning it's used at the end when you're finishing up your process and you're putting it in. But I hear a lot of people saying brush in the pomade. The only pomades, nah, I'm, me personally, I wouldn't brush in any pomade. I'll use it as a topical, as a finishing product. And really and truly, man, if you see a lot of the high-end waivers, um, you, you probably won't hear the word pomade come out of their mouth a lot because they rely on their brush to lay their hair down. Pomade, again, is a finisher. So, um, and I'm saying this because I see a lot of people putting a lot of stuff in their hair, which could cause a problem down the road if they're not careful by just gopping that stuff up in there. It's really made to be used lightly. Even, even with this one, and the um, cold label, which is one of my favorite, even though this is an all natural pomade, I'm mindful of how much I use. When I use it, it will probably be no more than this. And again, that's just to go over the top of my hair to give it a more uniform, um, laid down appearance. However, I'm not relying on this. I'm relying on the brush work and the compression work that I put in in order to lay my hair down. The pomade again, is not like an everyday product because it's very few pomades that's gonna have ingredients in it that's gonna help your scalp and help your hair strand. These should be used um, just as a dressing, just to go in your pretty boy mode or your pretty girl mode and get it out as soon as possible. With this here, these two, Cold Label and Seasick, I'll put these in because they do have ingredients in here that can help my scalp and hair. However, I don't apply it heavily because again, too much of anything in your hair, natural or unnatural, will cause skin problems, will cause pore blockage. You remember that nasty stuff I just pulled out my nose? Not out my nose, but out of the pores? Those, they need to stay open. So just imagine if you take up heavy stuff on that and not allow that stuff to get out, what you're causing is you're gonna cause a block sebaceous gland which would be a problem, okay? I know this video, I'm, it seems like I might be jabbering or whatever. I just wanted to get this out because I did see a need on Facebook and I get a lot of inboxes from Instagram or whatever site I'm on and they're asking me questions about whatever. Um, I feel like it's really important for all of my family. When I say family, I mean you guys, my YouTube family, to uh, understand the um, how to use the pomade. If you have any questions on how to use the pomade, comment, and I'll get back to it as soon as possible. You guys gotta understand that I'm still not hip on this Google Plus thing, and so it may take me a little longer to reply, but I really try to apply to every, I'm, I'm sorry, reply to everybody. Feel me? And on that note, you know what I do at the end of these VDIOs. It's your boy, Country King, Beast Mode. And I'm about this thing, man, out.